Hi guys! I missed you guys. I know you missed me, but I'm here. Anyway, uh, just a quick check-in. I'll post again um, uh, another day this week. Um, but just quickly, just wanted to see you guys, see how you were doing. After I got that vaccine, honey, let me tell you, I was tired as a mofo. Do you hear me? The next day, I think by, probably like by 8.30 that night, I could not hold my eyes open. My arm got real sore. And I was like, okay, I don't know what's happening. And then by the next day, your girl was done. Done. So I was just like, all right. I don't know what's going on. So I looked at my little papers and it said, you know, fatigue and all that was going to be normal. Um, and so I was just like, okay, whatever. And I just had to deal with it for the next couple of days. And then I was fine. And then, you know, coupled with just, you know, my lady time and all that, it was just kind of, you know, all running together. So I just had to deal with that or whatnot but anyways how was your valentine's day i hope everyone you know got a chance to love and be loved i was not <laughs> or i say i did not but me and my girls we did do a galentine's day um i'll post a little clip of that um here in a minute but yeah, we went out, had dinner. We got all fancy. We had on our little red dresses, honey. You couldn't tell us we wasn't the shiz night e. <laughs> uh, but we did. We looked good and had a great time. We exchanged gifts. You can see the gifts back there on the table. Um, but yeah, man, I we we just wanted to celebrate each other that the love that we have for each other you know right now in our singleness we always have love for each other whatnot and we just wanted to make it special so that's what we did um you know so we know we weren't gonna get pregnant um on valentine's day i don't know how many of y'all gonna get pregnant <laughs> or gonna be pregnant uh or whatever so we'll be looking for those valentine's day babies nine and a half months from now or whatever we're gonna be looking for them little babies bring them out bring them out bring them out um but anyway um yeah so we just hope everybody has been in you know had a great little day and if not you know it ain't for everybody it's cool you know i used to be bitter sometimes when i was you know, in my singleness, I'm still single. I ain't, I'm not seeing anyone, not even at all. I'm going to tell y'all about that in a minute. Um, But I used to get bitter. But then as I got older, I was like, oh, whatever. Shoot, that was a bullet dodge or, or whatever, you know. So huh, I'm just happy for the people that's in love. Shoot, whatever. And if you're not with somebody, hey, man. Enjoy enjoy your time by yourself, child. Listen, because that's one less thing you got to be worried about. Take that bitterness, turn that into love for yourself. Okay, take yourself out, honey. I do it all the time. I, child, I feel for the man that's going to get with me. Because, whoo, baby, he got some big old shoes to feel, baby. Because I do so much stuff, stuff for myself. Woo! Yikes! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, you know, I'm kidding. Not, you know, like he's not going to have, I'm not going to give him hell, but like for real, like I do a lot for myself. I take myself out. I do lavish vacations for me. I do it all, you know? So I just, I don't expect anybody to do that for me. I do it for me. So I don't, I don't wait on people. I do all that for myself. But anyway, so let me tell y'all about that catch y'all up on my, the dating live the chronicles honey so i had met this guy whatever we was going out for like a month or so you know nothing serious just seeing each other hanging out doing whatever so this kid i'm gonna call him a kid because he had matured yet even though we the same age he had matured yet he just had not so i 
was noticing that, you know, we had not had any kind of physical touch yet. No holding of the arms, no hands, nothing. So I'm looking at this cat like, what is the problem? You know? Like, I'm not asking for you to be, you know, all up on me or nothing, but I'm like, well, what's the deal, bro? Well, what, you know? Is, is it my breath? Because I know I do. I use smart mouth mouthwash brush my teeth real good flaws i have great dental care great dental hygiene i even i even have the tools to scrape anything all the time like i don't even have to go to the dentist because i take care of my mouth great it's great shape so anyway i asked him a while back a few weeks ago i was like you know i noticed that you know you haven't tried to, you know, like, hold my hand or anything when we're out on walks or out on dates or anything. What's the deal? He's like, oh, you know, it's, you know, the consent. Haven't had got any consent from you or whatever. Gave him the consent. Flat out gave it to him. So, nothing still. So, I'm like, okay. Weeks go by. We're still hanging out. He's even come to the house, watching TV. I'm on one of the couches on the other, and I'm not looking for anything as far as, you know, under the sheets, because I am not for that right now. Ooh, Jesus, no, thank you. You know, I just like physical touch. I like for my arm to be rubbed or something, you know, because I'm a touchy-feely person. Um, so, <laughs> So again, I still notice there has been no change made. Everything else that we've ever talked about or had an issue with each, with each other about, we've been able to discuss it like two adults and there's been adjustments made because we've both been single for a while and we were able to make adjustments. So we did. But for this, still no adjustment. So I said something to him again this last time and I basically said, um, are you intimidated by me? Um, or do you not find me attractive? What is the deal? And he was, he laughed and he was like, no, oh no, no, nothing like that. And he just laughed at himself, but it didn't give me any further answer. So I already knew then time was up. So he had been sitting there texting and messaging with someone the whole time he was here. And I was just like, okay. So I just flat out said, hey, are you bored? And he went, no. Why do you ask? I said, because you've been sitting there texting, messaging with someone the whole time you've been here as if you'd rather be elsewhere. You know, I, I could gladly turn this TV off and you can leave. Cool with me. I can do something else. Oh, no. It's nothing like that. Still no explanation. No whatever. So I'm like, all right, bro. I got up from the couch then. I just want to start doing something else in the house. Because I'm, what I'm not going to do is sit up here and put on a facade as if everything is cool. But instead of you just sitting here acting like I don't exist. So, 2.30 in the morning rolls around. He gets a call on his cell phone. By then, I'm sitting back on the couch. And I said, who was that? And he was like, I don't know. I said, well, let's answer it. So he's like, uh, hello? Trying to act all shocked. Then he going to turn the volume down. You know how people try to, you know, don't want you to hear who it is. But I could hear that the person was boo-hoo crying. So I'm like, okay. So I'm not getting worked up. I'm not upset. I'm not nothing. I'm just very neutral. Very neutral. So he's like, "Who? What's going on? What? What's wrong? What's What's wrong?" And so then he hangs up the phone. It's like, "I gotta go." And he all frazzled, razzled and dazzled, grabbing his stuff, putting his shoes on, and um, leaving the house. So I'm like, "Okay." Didn't say bye. Didn't say nothing. I was like, "Okay, cool." So the next day. He texts me and says, because he left something at the house. And so the next day he texts me and said, can I come by and grab the item? And I was like, yeah, sure. Come on through. Because I'm ready to read him for filth. So he comes by 
and says, he comes by and I open the door. I went, oh, he's like, yeah, it's been a long night. He had the nerve to still have on the same clothes that he had on the night before. It is now 1.30 in the afternoon the next day. Oh, no, brother. You will never see me again. So he trying to tell me about... Um, hold on. He trying to tell me about um, this friend that did happen to be female, whatever she done went through and all this. Oh, so you the savior now, huh? Okay, got it. I said, well, you know, that's fine. You go on, do whatever you got to do. That's great. Um, so then he's trying to calm the situation down, trying to keep me from being vocal by asking me that I want to go and walk the, uh, a walk the next day. And I said, sure. I knew I was never going to see this man again. I knew he was not going to call. He wasn't going to show up. He wasn't going to do nothing. I know the game. Honey, let me tell you. I am the pimp, the player. I'm everything. I'm all that. I know the game. I done played it, laid it out, did it, all that. You can't fool me. Okay? I know all of it. I know your move before you even make it. And so, the next day comes. Didn't hear from him. So, I text him at 6.30. We both then went on the walk at noon. 6.30 rolls around. Text him. Uh, thought we were going on the walk. Oh, I had to um, do a project with my job for uh, the new employees. Sir, you are a CNA. You ain't got no projects to do at your job. Did you forget that you told me you have no responsibilities at your job other than to wipe behinds, brush hair, etc., etc., and walk off the job when your shift is over? Did you forget that this is what you told me? Child, I said, no worries. Enjoy your weekend. And I walked away from the situation with my dignity and him wondering whether or not I believed anything he said. And we have not talked since. And that is, my dear, how you play the game. You don't get all upset. You don't give people, you know, arguments. You don't fall into all of that. You just be like, okay, sure. Mm-hmm. So, there it is. And I'm still single. Ting! Anyways, child, let me go. I got to get ready for, um a lecture but i just wanted to see your little faces and i hope y'all are having a good black history month and i hope y'all are sticking it to them no i'm just kidding <laughs> but you i mean lay them out if you got to now not physically but verbally if you got to tell somebody what it is and how it is for black history month and all the months let them know you ain't to be played with just saying because some people try to you know but anyways, guys, I love you. You are loved. Whatever you're doing, be good or be good at it. And I will see you guys on the next episode.